Hi, today we're going to talk about forward contract pricing. So the forward contract price is determined in the beginning of the contract itself is the price at which the asset would be transferred from the seller to the buyer. However, the value of a forward contract will keep changing during the contract period. The value of the forward contract at, at expiration from long perspective will be a difference between the spot price at expiration, which is denoted by the capital letter T, and the forward price determined at the beginning of the contract. So for example, the forward price was decided uh, $50 and uh, at the expiration of the contract, the asset is trading in the spot market at expiration at 60. So long made a profit of $10. And since it's a zero sum game, the, sh the short will have a reverse position. So short had a loss of $10. So short position equal to forward price minus the spot price at the expiration. The value of a forward contract as initiation uh, will involve the time value of uh, money computation. So we can, uh, from the long perspective, uh, in, we are, will be comparing the short and the, 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 the spot price at the beginning of the contract, subtracting the present value of the forward price. And the way we calculate present value by, by discounting it at the, uh, at the rate. This rate may be a risk-free rate or risk-free rate plus risk premium depending uh, the investor type. So uh, since we are discounting for the entire period, that's the reason we have capital T uh, uh, here. So the short, short position will be exact opposite. So it's the present value of a forward price minus the spot price at the beginning of the contract. However, during the forward contract, uh, this formula is same as uh, the big uh, the beginning of the forward contract formula, but the, but the but the difference is we are not using the capital letter T, we are using the the small letter T, which is denoting the time period for which uh, um, which has already passed since the beginning of the contract. So we are gonna take the spot price at time t here and we subtract the present value uh, for the time period capital T minus small t which is the time period remaining until the expiration. So um, similar to other examples the short position will be the opposite to long position so it's a present value of our price minus the spot at time t. In case there are any cost of carry or convenience yield, we're going to plug in into this formula and compute their uh, present value accordingly. Thank you.